Welcome to our program on Kardec Radio. Hello, dear friends. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Kardec Radio. We're here to nourish our souls. I'm Nora, the host of this program. A soothing pills of trust based off the book Pills of Trust by collaborative work of Dr. Diaz de Cruz and Andre Moreira. Beautiful, beautiful work. We are so, so blessed to have these powerful, powerful messages. So today's chapter is called Act with Trust. We are already on chapter 16. Unbelievable, right? Wow. So friends, as we are going to begin this lesson with a prayer, let's see in our hearts, are we trusting as everything that's happening now, are we able to trust? Dear Mother, Father, God, thank you so much for this opportunity of being here. Thank you for everything that's being provided to us. Thank you for allowing us to reach this far of the week for our health, for our lives, for our jobs, for our families, our friends, for everything that is being provided to us. Today's lesson is all about learning how to trust. We want to thank you for this powerful lesson and ask the spirits kindly If they could please guide us into our hearts so that we may understand today's lesson and that we may continue trusting as we move forward in this life. That said, we ask permission to begin and so be it. All right, friends. So what a question to ask ourselves, right? These weeks have been getting very interesting for some of us. <laughs> Politics. The COVID, people going back to work, right? There's just so much going on. And really, the thing that is going to keep us going, keep us together, is trusting God. So as we read the chapter, let's ask ourselves, where are we in this scale, right? We love to ask ourselves these questions. Where am I, where am, I at? Am I completely trusting and letting go and giving God His thing to do and then I'm doing my thing or am I trying to go in there and do everything that I think I'm doing right Which we're not but we think we're doing it what are we doing so hoping that today's message we leave here blessed and so let me share the slides friends all right friends so our chapter 16's title is act with trust oh powerful words right meaning action, meaning we're, we're doing it. <laughs> and as we are thinking about this, what a beautiful, beautiful background there of the, the trees as they're changing, as the leaves are changing color. I don't live in an area where that happens. I'm in South Texas, so it's pretty warm year round. But I think so beautiful in other parts of the States that you all get to experience the leaves that way. Beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> So let's just read the chapter and take it. It's actually one of those chapters that we just need to read it without interruption. And then we'll just discuss a little bit. The chapter is pretty much explained. It's self-explanatory, as we say. All right. Everyone in life is graced with just and necessary opportunities for awakening their divine nature within them. If you analyze your story and find joy and deception, dreams and failures, you will find yourself in the midst of natural human battles, which involve all on the path of progress. If you suffer pain during an unexpected trial, trust your prayers. If you face a challenging infirmity, face it with trust. If you are visited by an illness that brings an end to your days, surrender with trust. If you are tormented by obsessive thoughts without rest, trust while medicating yourself. If you are lacking strength to fulfill your wished for dreams, make efforts with trust. If you are unable to find solutions for problems that appear to be unsolvable, formulate your questions with trust. 
If the trial of an unexpected abandonment and desertion visits you, trust your love for yourself. In every trial and with each challenge, trust that God is found preparing his children for a successful self-illuminating venture. Even when there are unnecessary trials or self-imposed pain, trust that God is found in watching, guarding, and encouraging you to take a progressive journey in search of yourself. Thus, no matter where you find yourself, or whatever is experienced, trust and work, because trust is a sign of your understanding of both divine wisdom and love, which sustains all like an emblem of the Lord. Wow, beautiful friends, beautiful. So we just need to simply trust, right? And to pray and believe. Let's think about Jesus and what he has to say in regards to this. Uh, Mark eleven twenty four says, Therefore I tell you, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received and it will be yours. So again, he's reminding us, yes, we pray, but we need to believe. We need to trust, right? We need to feel it with our heart. He also reminds us in Luke 11, right? To trust God as our father. He's saying, which of your which of your fathers, if you ask, if your son asks for a fish, will give him a snake instead? Or if he asks for an egg, will give him a scorpion? If you then, though you are evil, you know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your father in heaven give the Holy Spirit to those who can who ask him, right? So imagine you as parents. And myself, I'm not a parent. I'm not a parent, but I, I am. I'm a teacher, so we're around kids, and they ask us for something. Right? They ask us for help. They ask us for a snack. They ask us, do we not give them that? Are we mean to them? Do we? No, we make. We try our best to provide for our children. Imagine God, right? Who is the who is love, divine love, friends, what he has in store for us, right? It's on us just to, to trust. And then he says, uh, in Luke 12, uh, 22 and 31, the whole section is titled, Do Not Worry, right? So in other words, let's not worry about God's things, right? He's doing his thing. Let's worry about what belongs to us us. He says in uh, verses 25 and 26, who of you by worrying can add a single hour to your life? And he continues, since you cannot do this very little thing, why do you worry about the rest? Right? So let's, why are we worrying about like these things? Those, that's not our job. If anything, let's trust that God is taking care of his, his things. What we can worry is about our things and what are those things for the pagan world runs after all such things and your father knows that you need them but seek his kingdom and these things will be given to you as well right so verses 30 to 31 tell, tells us right these are the things that we worry about which is to seek his kingdom what is seeking his kingdom that's uh, doing things that are divine that are christ consciousness that are here to help others that are here for uh, to help us to be examples, to be uh, loving, to be compassionate, right? Things of the soul and the heart, not things, the, those tangible things, right? It's not that materialistic things are not important. They are important, but he says already provided. The things that we need to be working on are the things to that get, get us closer to his kingdom. So when we coming from that place, when we are trusting that way, then everything that Dr. Diaz Cruz is telling us in this chapter, it starts to make sense, right? And as he says, when we start to believe and trust, it's an under it's a sign of our understanding of both divine wisdom and love, right? So when we start to understand it, what a great message from Jesus reminding us, then 
things start to become easier. So um, as we are living through these difficult moments, it is a very difficult times right now. Let's remember, let's seek his kingdom and everything else will be given to us, no matter how difficult it is. I'm going to show you um, a, a film about this, friends. Uh, but before we do that, just a reminder that for this week, let's pray. Pray for things belonging to the kingdom of God, things that will get us to that place. Let's learn. And as we watch this little excerpt of Jesus reminding us, let's think about the message for today and how we can use this to trust more. And let's trust and pray. Pray for things belonging to the kingdom of God. And um, after the movie clip, uh, we will sing a song. Teach us to pray, just as John taught his disciples when you pray, say, Our Father which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done as in heaven, so in earth. Give us day by day our daily bread, and forgive us our sins. For we also forgive everyone who is indebted to us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Ask, and you will receive. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be open to you. For everyone who asks will receive. And he who seeks will find. And the door will be open to anyone who knocks. <laughs> would any of you who are fathers give to your son a snake when he asks for a fish, or a scorpion when he asks for an egg. As bad as you are, you know how to give good things to your children. How much more then will the Heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to those who ask him? I tell you this, take no thought in your life for what you shall eat, nor for your body what you shall wear. For life is more than food, and the body more than clothing. Consider the rains. They neither sow nor reap, have neither storehouse nor barn. Yet God feeds them. Of how much more worth are you than the birds? What do you, by being anxious, can add to the length of your life? You cannot do such a small thing. Why do you worry about the rest? Consider the lilies, how they grow. They neither toil nor spin. Yet Solomon in all his glory was not arrayed like a single one of them. If God, who clothes the wild grass today, which tomorrow is thrown onto a fire, how much more sure is he to clothe you Oh, you of little faith, make our faith greater. If you had faith as big as a mustard seed, you could say to this mulberry tree, pull yourself up by the roots and plant yourself in the sea, and it would obey you. What a beautiful short clip, right, friends? But very, very powerful. Just to think of the impact trusting in God has in our lives. Incredible. And as Jesus reminds us, it's that prayer, it's that moment, that one-on-one -on -one that we have right, with the Creator, with the Source. Every day, friends, every day. Now let's not give up. Let's believe. Let's trust. song blessed assurance everything 
means a blessed assurance, right? Blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. Oh, what a foretaste of glory divine.
everything we need is taken care of. May you remind us this upcoming week to seek your kingdom, to do everything that children of God are meant to do. We also want to ask, Father, for your protection as this planet is really, really needing your guidance and your love. We are in your hands, Father, and as we trust, we know that everything, everything is where it needs to be. We ask permission to close this meeting. We ask for many blessings from above. Love and grace. Thank you. And so be it. Remember, friends to tune in to the other programs that we have, right? Beautiful, beautiful. And many blessings on behalf of Cardiac Radio. Until next week, God bless.